What's going on, Jerome's? Uh, very happy to be back at home base down in the basement in the dungeon, uh, back from a disclosed location, uh, and we're back after it, man. Someone who's going to be after it in 2023 uh, is second-year linebacker Brian Asamoah, where he has a tall task of replacing Eric Kendricks. Uh, he's penciled in as a starter, and his versatility and skills to the off-ball linebacker position uh, syncs up perfectly with what they're asked to do in the modern NFL. And new inside linebacker coach uh, Mike Saravo uh, has high praise uh, for Brian Asamoah at OTAs. This is from from Will Ragged Sports Illustrated. Uh, quote, B.A. Uh, Brian Asma, man, what a gifted athlete, uh, Saravo said on Wednesday. Brings unreal energy, just keeps getting reps in the new scheme. He's one of those chess pieces that you're going to see him all over the field. He could rush, he could drop, he could do a bunch of different things. He's athletic enough to play man coverage. Love his energy in the room every day. Still a young player. Uh, you got to learn how to be a pro in this league, and he's doing a great uh, doing a great job of that. Taking on a new defensive staff and just running with it, he's been awesome. And Asuma uh, last year was a third round pick, 66 overall out of Oklahoma. You know, a little bit undersized, a little bit of a tweener. Is he a big safety? Is he a small linebacker? Don't really care. Uh, but he is going to be a, a major piece of this defense. And you know, didn't really get the time of day last year with Donatel being stuck behind Jordan Hicks, uh, who remains with the Vikings, as well as uh, of course Eric. Kendricks, uh, but when he got opportunity, he shined. Like he, he looked really damn good. I uh, had that uh, strip sack. Well, not strip sack. Sorry, forced fumble. I uh, just ripped the ball away from the Giants' tight end on Christmas Eve. And overall, w whenever thirty three is on the field, good things tend to happen. And I, I think that Asamoa. The Vikings off-ball linebacker room is kind of thin uh, at this moment in time. You have Asma and you do have Jordan Hicks, who still is very good against a run. Great leader, probably going to wear the green dock, uh, lining up the defense this year. But he is a liability in coverage, as evidenced from last season. Uh, Troy Dye, is he more of just a career backup and a special teamer? Quenku's a mystery. And they got Ivan Pace Jr., who I think could be the guy long term. Uh, but is is he too much like Brian Asma? Or is it, you can't have too much of a good thing in terms of versatility, guys that can drop into coverage, guys that can rush a pass, or guys that can do everything. But uh, I'm really hyped uh, about Brian Osamont year two, man, where I think that he's got leadership skills. I think that he uh, does uh, bring uh, a little something, something in terms of rushing the passer, which uh, Brian Flores, uh, Flores loves to do with his linebackers, looking at Jerome Baker in Miami, looking at Kyle Van Noy uh, with the Patriots and Miami. And I think Asma, it's been an underutilized part of his game. I think that he's got the speed to be able to shadow some of these mobile quarterbacks, especially Justin Fields in division. Uh, I think that uh, Asma is going to be a, a dynamic force in the middle of this defense. So I, I'm really excited to see him take on starter roles and get that, get those reps, and I'm just glad to see how uh, Saravo and Flores are going to uh, exploit his versatility. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings' new inside linebacker coach Mike Saravo has high praise uh, for uh, second-year linebacker Brian Asamoah. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.